Hey everybody, welcome back to another Grotopia video. This week we are starting a new series called Grotopia News, where I'll go through the news of the week, consisting of video of the week, news and game, update news, all that sort of stuff. And I'm not really sure 100% what to cover. I've pulled stuff from the forums, pulled stuff from in-game, what I've heard, stuff like that. So just let me know if you guys have any news for next week for me to cover, and I'll definitely look into that. So the first thing we're starting with is this Grotopia hacker glitch having to do with grow tokens. I was playing some Grotopia and saw GM about this and they were promoting their own video on the hack. So it's one of two things. Either it's a actual hack slash cheat that's fake and they just want you to download something that'll give you a virus or it's an actual hack that is destroying the game economy with grow tokens right now. Now I only saw a couple people that weren't the promoter talking about this. So again, it could just be a fake. So do not download anything. Don't download it regardless, obviously, because you're gonna get your account taken away. Um, but there could be a potential rollback because of this. There hasn't been anything thus far, which leads me to leave, believe again that it's fake but just keep your eyes open because it is a bit dangerous. The next thing is the video of the week was the legendary inventor, Lonely GT's first growy. So this is really exciting. This channel only has three subscribers, but it was a pretty good animation, not gonna lie. Uh, it was two and a half minutes long, so not the longest animation. You know, it was pretty good. It's got this storyline where this inventor who has been kind of outed as a nerd a little bit by his schoolmates comes to invent the legendary bot from Grotopia and uh, it's a pretty neat little video, honestly. I, I appreciate it, so uh, not a bad video of the week at all. And the next thing is the alien invasion. So the alien invasion is coming to the game, and basically what the alien invasion is, you break trees with an alien scanner, and from that you can get an alien landing pod, which gives you a bunch of cool items, notably the, uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but they're like alien animals. Space space hunter animals type beat. So to prepare for that, obviously you just want to plant a bunch of trees. Doesn't matter if it's dirt, doesn't matter if it's L grid, anything. You just want to plant as many trees as possible because the rarity of the tree does not actually matter. And then you have a chance of getting, you know, an alien landing pod, which are worth pretty penny. I saw in Mr. Songo's video, they're worth like 350 to 120 world locks. I did that reverse, but you know what I mean. And uh, depends on what time in the event that you're selling them. I'm sure if you sell them immediately, they're going to be worth quite a bit because, you know, creators are going to want to start, you know, buying them all up and, and making a video on them, stuff like that. Uh, so you'll definitely see a huge drop over the event. Um, but they might kick back up a little bit after the event's over. I'm not 100% sure on how the economy works, but, you know, we'll see. And then the final thing I wanted to mention this week was that there's a forum post that went around called... Uh, Grotopia after 10 years. Someone found it from 2014. It's not exactly been 10 years since the post, but it has been 10 years since Grotopia has been out. Uh, it's only two weeks away from their beta anniversary. So today we're going to go through that forum post and just uh, see what's up. So the first thing is that there'd be like hundreds of thousands of players at this point, right? Um, and that's not necessarily the case. There's still like 30,000, probably anywhere from 15,000 to 40,000 people online at any given time and I'm, I haven't been up all hours of the day So I'm sure there's places that it peaks even more and drops even more, but that's around what I've seen and That's pretty good still for a game after 10 years um, 100,000 views isn't exactly expected, but you know, it's not bad the next thing was that Farmables will kind of drop the ones that were existing at that time and there will be new farmables to replace them And that's 100% true. They say that Venus guy traps are gonna be the new dirt pinball bumpers and black wall will be the new dirt, and then Shans will be the new sugarcane, and there will be more farmables that will be even better, like Elgrid, right? And that's 100% the case. I feel like Shans probably are the new sugarcane. It actually is such a good analogy. And uh, Elgrid is the new farmable that's pretty much the best. I mean, it's undeniable. Uh, though there are still a lot of Shans and BFGs, but it is kind of the new sugarcane. I mean, Elgrid just takes the cake for best farmable in general. It just gives... I'm not sure if it gives more gems, but it's easier to break, you can break it faster, and it's just uh, significantly better in a lot of ways. You can die if you do it, but that's only if you're kind of being stupid, so it's not the end of the world, um, but yeah. They say, rollback three. Um, <laughs> I don't think I know exactly how many rollbacks we have, but it's anywhere from eight to ten at this point, so we've pretty much had one every single year since the game's been released. What will new people wear in the future? Uh, it's pretty obvious that people would wear the new items that come out and stuff like that, but they mentioned Devil Wings, Flame Saver, Diamond Diaper. Devil Wings are still worn quite a bit, I'm sure. Uh, I haven't seen a ton, but they are still worn. They obviously have been replaced by cooler items that have come out. There are so many cool items in this game now, 
and it's just insane. Okay. Another one was Grotopia won't even go for five years. The game is certainly flawed. Enough said. Well, <laughs> it did go to 2019, which is five years from this post that, you know, was created, and then three years past that, so they were definitely wrong with that. Uh, that's all I'm going to say there. People like me, you, and other players of our time will probably be referred to as old school G player, GT players. Pretty much they're just referred to as vets, not old school GT players, but I mean, that is true, so there you go. Someone says maybe they'll make it 3D. Um, no. <laughs> but there is a game coming out by Social First that is a 3D, 2D platformer, so be on the lookout for that if you really want that. And the final thing I've seen was maybe they'll add a American server or West European server or something like that, which never happened. You know, the servers can handle a bunch of people being on at once, um, but you know, I guess it's fine that way as it is. So we're only about eight minutes in, but that's going to be the first Grotopia news I've ever done. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more Grotopia news, or if I left some stuff out from this news that you guys can share with other people, and uh, that's about it. Thank you guys, and I'll see ya.